Hello YouTube, so today I'll be making an overview of how to open up the Logitech M305. So basically this will be a tutorial on how to open up the Logitech. As I have to open it up because when I opened up previously I forgot to add the switch. So basically it's very simple to open it up and all you need is basically a screwdriver. You don't need anything more than that. So let's uh, begin. So the first thing you need to do is there are these small little adhesives over over here and behind these adhesives there are some screws so you basically have to rip them off now this is a little bit difficult but for me I already ripped them off so it's a little bit more simple so basically you need to take out the ad little adhesives and they're very very sticky and annoying so you take them off and then as you see here underneath there is a screw so let's take these off that you can pause the video and here's another one okay and you have to take it off there another one off and last one off okay so now that you have this now you can see the little screws in the logitech so now we basically take your screwdriver and you have to unscrew each screw off. So you have these little screws that come out. There, another one off. Third one. <clears throat> And now the last one. Oops. Okay, there you go. So now that you have all of these off, you can actually open this up like that. So this fell off too. So basically, what we have here is the battery. So the battery is here. And then inside here, we have the actual click wheel. So over here, if we want to take apart this part, there are two screws to take apart. There's one screw over on here. So this is a small black screw, a silver screw, and there's another silver screw over here, which is on the main side of the board. So let's take out this screw first. So we can take out and we get a silver screw and then this one is a black or silver screw depends on your model there we go this one out with this one you can take out the clicker too so in case you have an issue with the scroll wheel and here we go we're done over here we have an additional screw here to help take this section off so again there's a black screw there so um, here I'll, t I'll show you guys how to put it back together so basically you need to redo this process so you take this board place it there and put the clicker wheel back so this time I'm going to add this section which is actually the um, on off switch and the on off switch correlates here to this thing so this turns it on, this turns it off. Let's see if this works. So you can see this turns it on and off. So you have to put this on properly and you have to make sure that the actual switch is in the right direction so that when you turn it on and off from the bottom, it works. So now we take back our screws. So let's take the silver screw back and put it straight back in the middle here take your screwdriver screw it back on however much you need to and then for this one, for the clicker wheel thing, the scroll, again we have to 
put this back on so we take our screw So, the bottom here, we should have this thing that turns it on and off. That should be functional. So now we have this back. We put the cover on. The mouse. And it should fit. There we go. So now that it fit on, we should be able to put this back on. And now we have to put back the screws where the adhesive was before. So you first put on the screws and then you add the adhesive. The purpose of the adhesive is to ensure that it does not scratch any surface that you're using and to keep it elevated from the sensor. Okay. Next screw. I want to make sure that this is as solid as possible. So if your trackpad isn't solid, sideways I mean, or the button thing doesn't work, you should test before you add the adhesive because the adhesive it's difficult to add and take off after a certain amount of times. So add this back in here too. Okay. And the last one goes here. And then you simply plop back on the adhesive. The adhesive pads, pop them on, work that, and you're done. Apply a bit of pressure, make sure the pads are back on, and you're done. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. Bye.